Hi, I am Rishit Shah from Tally School and in this video I am going to explain you how you can create a round off invoices in Tally with GST or rounded off GST invoices in Tally. So when we sell something and there are certain decimal figures when you sell the invoice amount generally is like for example 1000.54 or 623.23 so we generally don't take that 23 paise or 54 paise after the decimal from the customer we either take 1000 or we take 1001 rupees like that so to round off that figure in tally there is a special function called round off which you can use in tally which is available in the latest versions of tally so I recommend you update your tally to the latest version and then you follow this tutorial because if you don't update it you will not see the function that I am talking about. I have uh, given the link in the description which shows you the whole process of updating tally. It is, it is as similar as downloading tally and installing it. Just download the tally and install it and your tally will be updated to the latest version. Make sure you back up your current files before updating it in case anything goes wrong. Generally it doesn't affect but we should not take chances. So in case anything goes wrong, please make your backup and then update. Now after you have updated tally, you will be in one of the latest versions. The latest version is 6.4.7 but I am using 6.4.5. Still the functionality is there so update to the latest or two three older versions that will be okay now what we will do is we will create a round of ledger which we can use at the time of creating our invoices so tally will automatically round it off for that we have to go to in accounts info then ledgers then under single ledger we have to select create now let's say the name of this ledger is round off because at the time of creating the entry we will know that this ledger is used specifically for rounding off press enter and under option will come and in this option you can select two groups either direct expenses or direct incomes because in rounding off in some cases it might be that you gain that decimal amount that you take some more amount or in some cases you get less amount so depending on that for example let's say your invoice is 1000.23 and you took from the customer 1000 rupees so 23 paise is your loss in another invoice let's say your invoice value is 1000.62 and you took 1001 rupees so that remaining 48 paise is your income so similarly we will select direct incomes or direct expenses you can select either one of them and at the end of the year we will see that either we have lost or we have gained and on the basis of that we will change the ledger at the end of the year i will show that in the end of the video what i'm talking about or how you can do that so let's go ahead and press enter now you will see the option of type of ledger this is an important option and this is what we are talking about we will select here invoice rounding so this ledger will automatically round off if you do not select this option here type of ledger to invoice rounding this whole function will not work in tally so make sure you select this option invoice rounding and press enter as soon as you press enter you will see that statutory information here that is GST and TDS details all become non-applicable because they are not used for in rounding off. GST details are particularly not used in rounding off. We will use the GST invoice but for round off this all is not necessary. Now press enter and if you are seeing payroll and cost center details just select it to no and if you are not seeing this options then it's quite good and well just go ahead rounding method there are three types of rounding method that is no downward upward and normal we will select normal so depending upon 
the decimal number either it will go up or it will go down rounding limit is one so we will select one if you have good big invoices for example if you have an invoice of 25 lakh 25,000 and 10 rupees so you can round off and put the rounding limit to 10 so it will be 25 lakhs and 20,000 rupees and 10 rupees would be rounded off but if you have invoices like 5,000 rupees and 23 pesos so you can keep the rounding limit to 1 so it will round off in terms of passive I will show you that while creating the accounting entry for now just select one if you are finding it confusing because it is a little bit confusing now press enter and save the ledger so we have created the ledger for rounding off and now we will go back And I am at the gateway of tally. Now we will create a GST invoice and I'll use the rounding of ledger and show you how you can do that too. But before that, I want you to know that I've already created certain ledgers relating relating to the GST, which are sales ledgers and relators ledger, GST taxation ledgers, because they are all needed when you create a GST entry. So if you do not know how you can create those ledgers or if you want to know the whole process of creating a GST entry in Tally with different rates in a single invoice, for example, 12% and 18% both the products in a single invoice, you can check the whole article and a separate video which I've created specifically for that topic and I'll put the link in the description so you, so you can see the whole process. If you know the whole process then you can just follow me in this video or if you don't know the whole process you can just watch this video and then check out that process so it will be easy for you to implement this on in that process also so we'll go to accounting vouchers and press enter now I am in the purchase voucher and select the sales voucher you can also apply that rounding of technique which I'm applying in this sales voucher in the purchase voucher you can apply that too so I'll select sales and I've selected different types of voucher types I've created so I'll select simple sales and press enter now I'll select Amazon so if you are an e-commerce seller that is you are selling through Amazon Flipkart e-commerce seller you can watch another video and read the article in which I've explained uh, everything relating to e-commerce selling and how you can maintain everything in tally with just two entries you can maintain everything relating to amazon or flipkart or e-commerce selling with just two entries so it's quite easy if you want to know that too so i'll just save it here now the sales will be amazon sales because i'm selling through amazon now I'm selling, let's say I'm selling an iPhone X, which is the latest iPhone. And go down options, I'm seeing. If you're not seeing the go down options, it will it is okay. If you are seeing, then select the particular go down in which you have the quantity. One. Now this is 150,000, the rate is 150,000. Now let's make it to some odd number so we can see the round off. We can have the decimal and then I'll round it off. So 151,221 I will select. This is just an odd number. So we can see the decimal number. Now I will select IGST because I'm selling interstate. So you can see the IGST calculated is 18,146.52. So this 0.52 we generally do not take from our customers. Either we take 18,147 or 18,146 so for that we can actually account that in our invoices so it will not be difficult or it will not be error prone when we actually file our GST returns so what we have to do here is once again we have to select the round of ledger that we have created so I I have type ROU and we can select the round of ledger here press enter and you can see 0.48 rounded off 
so 0.52 plus 0.48 it became exact figure 169.368 so this is how rounding off works now let's say i change the amount to 1 lakh 51,223 now again the rounding off worked very well you you see it automatically changed as i changed the figure so you can see this is how rounding off works and we can just press enter and if you want to enter the evable details you can enter here but for this video i'm not entering any evable details because that will be again a very long video i have created a separate video plus a separate detailed article on creating evables in tally and uploading them on the evable portal and generating evable numbers if you want to know the whole process you can go through that article i'll provide the link in the description so i'll just select no here press enter enter and yes i have not specified some details of ebay bills as well as hsn for iphone so so and just save it so we have created the invoice with gst and rounded off it too now let's go back and let's see the profit and loss account and i'll just press alt plus f1 for detailed view you can also click here for condensed and detailed now we will go in direct expenses and in there we will see the round off so you can see 0.24 is in negative that means 0.24 is our income so whether it is here in negative or on this side we will just change it at the end of the year whatever it is it is in our neg it is in negative that means it is our income so what we have to do is press control plus enter and then press enter and then just select direct incomes then press control plus a simple now it has been transferred in direct incomes and we can see here 0.24 instead of which was here now it is here and this is positive that means 24 paise is our direct incomes so this is how rounding of works in tally and i've explained everything how you can create the ledger how you can use it with your gst invoices and you can pretty much use it if with any kind of invoice not just with gst so this is how round of ledger works once you create just single one single round of ledger you can use that in any kind of invoice so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next video